Good evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. Sorry for the lateness here. There were things that were going on. We'll get to that. But today is Sunday, August 11th, 2024. Day 224. Better late than never! Yeah, I apologize for the lateness with, with all of this. Because, um, Buttercup got, um, around the time I usually start recording, Buttercup got to go to the, uh, the city's local splash pad. And Sweet Pea doesn't like doing that. At all. Well, I don't know what it is, but, uh, Sweet Pea doesn't like being splashed with water whatsoever. She, she likes playing in water, so long as it's a pool of water. Like, you know, a bath or a kiddie pool. But as soon as the water that was airborne, he's out. So, we did have to stay here. So, Louie and Buttercup went to the splash pad. But, I, I can't be in this bedroom during that time. Because, uh, well, the door is breaking again. Like, it's even worse still. I don't want to go into all the details of how that happened today. But because of that, I couldn't have Sweet Pea in here whatsoever. Like, she can't be in here at all. Not until it's fixed, and they're supposed to be coming out tomorrow, but we'll see if that happens. So, Sweet Pea and I were just in the living room for a few hours. I made her some food, you know, the usual stuff you always do. And, uh, well... She did the typical two and a half, three year old stuff that we don't like talking about because it's embarrassing. But she did a lot of that today. And, uh, she got into her big sister's paint. So there's paint all over her hands. She's gonna need a bath in here just a little bit. Because I'm gonna a recording right now. And it's, it's 6 47 p.m. So I really, really, I apologize with how late this is. But they did not get home until almost six o'clock. So they were out pretty late. It's to be expected she needed to have some fun because Buttercup starts school on Wednesday. And we go and meet her teacher tomorrow afternoon. So Tara's going to be late doing his video tomorrow because when he's, he's out during the... Why did I grab my ear? Like, he's gonna be out during the normal time we do our recordings. So, he's gonna be a little bit late tomorrow as well, unless he does an early video. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out when we get there, because, uh, th th we're worrying about right now. But, I was going to do fish tacos for everyone, but with how late it is, I don't even think we're gonna have time to get to that, so we're gonna have to do something simple tonight. Oh well, them's the breaks, I guess. But if you were wondering why it is so incredibly colorful here, I mean, it is a very colorful world. It needs a little more optimization, I will admit, because... Am I having a... a... a, a uh... I want to say slightly above average, but I'm using the last generation... uh... DPU. But... It's still a decent computer, but it... For me in particular, for some reason, VR gets very normally for me. I get weird, um, as if my arms are moving in water kind of stuff. Weird af- not even an after image, almost it looks like I have an a weight behind my hands or any movement I do, so I, I try not move around too much. But for those who have a better optimization or want to see this world, uh, and... I think this is craft Cut Hang on. Yeah, this world is craft Cut Down. It's, um, NGP, or English, Japanese, Night Sky Exchange by Natsu9 underscore X. And it says... Join Night Sky Exchange to practice English and Japanese under the stars, share culture, and enjoy relaxing. Uh, I don't care about that at all. In a peaceful setting. <laughs> Connect with new friends through conversation and language activities in this tranquil VR chat world. So it sounds like... The world is the new... Uh, English-Japanese lessons. What is pretty cool. And the world is... It's particularly relaxing if I turn the music off, though. 
Though this might get a copyright claim. And not much I can do about that. I, I looked all over the place to see if there was a way to just turn that off without... I should have just turned the low volume down. That was have been easy enough. But since I don't really worry about all that stuff, I can worry about the copyright claim as it comes up. But... <laughs> You're, you're more than welcome to check this world out. It's, uh, I found it again under new and noteworthy. And it is, in fact, it, as you saw, it is a cross-platform world. So we can see how it performs differently on, um, MetaQuest head headsets. I still try to say, I still want to say Oculus because it was Oculus. And I'm not exactly fond of the Facebook name rebrand. I'm really not. But it's been, what, two years now? So, gotta live with it. But, I would say there's a whole lot more going on, but there, there isn't. I'm just trying to keep my mind going. But I'm, at the same time, we're just trying to get ourselves fully prepared for Wednesday. And you know me, I like to call it home day, but it's a serious day because Buttercup starts school that day and I am not letting her first day be late. Uh, I also kind of wish I had more time to enjoy this world because you know me. You know me and Tara, we love outer space. And being out under the stars is always a nice thing. And speaking of, for those who like doing um, astral photography late at night, or those in the northern hemisphere were coming up on like, Milky Way season is ending. We haven't had much opportunity because Tara's been fixing his phone. The whole infusive issue. But if he gets his phone fixed in time, he can try. But we haven't had any luck with no overpass late at night. But it's not like a full moon or something like that during the time the Milky Way should be out. And we haven't had any blackouts in the right time. So if we get one, we're going to take the opportunity. But hopefully it's not around a full moon like it was last year. But it's... It's a matter of luck. It's all luck. I've... We'll live. We'll live. But... I am hoping here in the coming days... With Buttercup starting school... That... Lily will have more inclination to actually start doing stuff in NPR chat with us. That would be fantastic, but we'll see how it goes. Purely because Sweet Pea, um, well, she still doesn't like going to bed at a time in a timely fashion. Last night, she still didn't go to bed until about one o'clock in the morning. And then by the time we were finally calming down, we started getting ready to get into bed. She woke up. So with Wait, do I... Yeah, she does that a lot, though. So, well, by the time we're finally going to bed, it's like she instantly knows we're going to bed and then wakes up. And it's very hard to get her back into her room. Because she, sh she shares a room with Buttercup. But they both have a problem with that, apparently. It's, it's gotta be the fact that they aren't close enough in age as siblings. And that's why when, uh, further back when... When Buttercup was younger, he he was very adamant about saying if we have more kids, they have to be close together in age. Well, the circumstances happen where it was all a waiting game anyway. You gotta love how insurance is very to the dot on things. They won't they won't work with you until things run their course. Don't want to go into that. And maybe. I think we'll do a video with Lilia about that circumstance, if she's comfortable with it, because it does involve health, hair stuff. And, uh, insurance, even public insurance is very unforgiving. So perhaps, so perhaps if we get the opportunity, Lilia, and I will talk about it, unless he wants to talk about it with Tara. But anyway, I can't keep this one any longer, because, well, I'm sorry, we really are. Oh, we're... Well, right now it's 6.55 p.m. So, I am very late. I'm terribly sorry how late it is, but that's how it works. But anyway, 
This is Tessa Spade on your Sunday, August 11th, 2024, day 224. We will just see you all tomorrow on Monday. Please take care of yourselves, everyone. Good night.